GameDraw allows you from hosting utilities inside of it. And with utilities, you can benefit from all the data structure that we have created. So we have created one, one utility to showcase what GameDraw utilities is capable of. So to open utilities, you just need to go to the create menu and you go to utilities and you'll find all the utilities under there. So the first utility we have created is called inset 3D, which allows you from converting three images into a 3D model. So let's start using inset 3D. The first thing you should know about inset 3D is that it supports layer. So you can have multiple layers and each layer is traced with its own properties. So each layer contains a front picture, a right and a top picture. You can import them from outside or you can create them using the texture painter. Textures should have the same size and they should be configured so that the background with alpha channel equal to zero and any, any other, anything else with alpha channel equal to one will be used to create the 3D model. So let's create a new texture. First of all, we need to clear the texture from the alpha channel. So let's just clear the alpha channel. Now we can start painting our reference. Let's re recreate and let's select this one. Now we can start creating our reference for the front. Okay, so let's use this reference and on the right, let's create another reference. In order for you to see the texture in the image correctly, you just need to change the fill of the zero alpha channel to something that can be drawn like this. So let's take the right and do the same. Let's pick yellow or any other color that we can see in the texture slot and let's paint the right side. In order to see the background, we just need to toggle the background like this. Okay, so let's take only two references and see what we will have. Okay, so once you create your references or imported them, you can then select the resolution which should match the size of the textures as well as the import settings of the texture should be. Uh, readable and as well as ARGB or something that can be used to read pixels from the image. So once you're satisfied you can select the corner type you can have sharp corners, uh, normal corners and smooth corners. So when you click on execute it will generate the model depending on the specs you have given. Since the write is so long we can just Remodify it so that, yeah, we lost it. So that it is less wider. Let's make it like this. Okay, so as you can see, we have generated the model from the referenced images. So if we execute again with the changes we have done, 
we can get the result as we want if we click on optimize it will get us an optimized version that is with less poly count this one is high poly count this one is lower poly count we can always optimize them using the optimizer and you can always see how it will look like with other corners and other shapes so this one without corners and this one is the one with corners so as you can see you have created some corners and you can also create it create it so that it gets smoothed yeah so this one is smoother so to work with layers you can simply add more layers so if you create texture with another layer show the background a little bit so let's create something that is different okay yep we can simply just create the big front and on the side can have something like this you can also customize the properties per layer so once you click on execute you will get the result for the specific layer so this can help you generate different shapes on different specifications so if we took back the layer and we generated one with optimize enabled we will get this one which is much more optimized and much more good for games but you need to also consider optimizing it using the optimization options that is provided from the optimization menu